a legendary Pokemon for just an evolution. Again. Pokemon Ranger, I choose you! What's up everybody, it's your Pokemon Ranger Boy here and welcome to another review of the Pokemon X, Y and Z anime. Today guys, we're tackling episode 17 which is called Zapdos and Neuvern, the Lightning of Anger. And uh, if this episode kinda seems familiar to you guys, it's maybe because that the main plot of this episode really is similar to the one when Legendary evolved into Talonflame and when Talonflame battled against one of the legendary birds, Moltres. The main plot of today's episode just seemed so familiar to this exact episode that it will definitely influence the rating of today's episode. But without further ado, let's go straight into the story. So on their way to Glorious City, the crew decides to make a quick stop to a certain area because in this area they will celebrate the Zapdos festival. And strangely enough, Clement is really excited about this. Which not only I think is kinda weird but also the rest of the crew. And after a little backstory about the Zapdos festival and the origins of it, suddenly a lightning strikes and crashes several trees. And also Clement nearly got hit up by one of those trees. And it turns out that Zapdos is actually responsible for this because it really seems angry and also influences the weather around it with all the dark clouds and the lightning and thunder which are striking from the heavens. So it's way too dangerous for the crew to continue on with their journey. And because of that they decide to hide within a cave. And after meeting an injured guy called Stan who actually frightened the hell out of them, he tells them that he actually was on his way to this certain place because he is I think kind of responsible for the medical faction of this place. But he can't continue on because Zapdos Lightning has struck down his vehicle and also injured him. He also can't continue on not only because of his injury but also because a huge rock is blocking the cave. But no need to worry guys because Ash's Halucha just breaks this rock in an instant which in my opinion is really incredible because with one Karate Chop Halucha is easily able to split up this huge rock and this was really impressive. So after this obstacle has been destroyed the crew can finally continue on with their journey and while our heroes are traveling through this cage we are seeing Team Rocket trying to catch Zapdos but unfortunately just angers Zapdos even more and because of that the following lightning strikes are causing an immense damage within the cave and as a result of that the crew got separated. And although Serena was really worried about Ash and the others, Ash just said no need to worry Serena, we will go on from, from this point out and you guys just find another way so that they can meet up later on. So without any hesitation, Ash and his Pokemon have continued to travel through this cave. And after they have successfully discovered an exit of this cave, suddenly out of nowhere Zapdos is attacking Ash and the Pokemon. Still confused about this sudden attack, suddenly Team Rocket in a really hilarious way appeared in front of Ash and his Pokemon and well are interrupting the main plot like always but I thought that this section of this episode was really hilarious because first of all they were really really frightened about Zapdos and also the background music really adapted to their frightened attitude and because of that I thought this was really hilarious. And after finding out that Team Rocket is actually responsible for the anger of Zapdos, Ash as our hero of course is trying to calm Zapdos down. But of course the furious Zapdos doesn't really listen to the gang and continues on attacking them. And after it took down both Talonflame and also Halucha easily, Noiba tries to save Halucha because of course Halucha is not only a friend of Noibat but also some kind of mentor and because of that Noibat with, with all his energy and effort tries to rescue Halucha and this results in the end to Noibat's evolution to Noivern. And not only that Noibat has finally evolved into Noivern but also had learned a new move and this was Boom Burst. And guys this Boom Burst is really strong, it's so strong that it can easily take down Zapdos with one blast. But only after Ash has used the environment for his advantage to fight against a legendary Pokemon. And after Zapdos has been successfully weakened by Noivern, suddenly Team Rocket out of nowhere appears and of course tries to catch that Zapdos. But of course our heroes are quickly freeing Zapdos and also blasting Team Rocket off again. Which of course was really predictable. And because of this rescue, Zapdos really has calmed down and also respected not only Ash but also Noivern for rescuing it. And after calming Zapdos down, Ash finally can continue on 
to meet up with his friends to the location where the Zapdos festival is held. And after finally reuniting with his friends, they are also really excited about the news that Neubert has evolved into Neubert. And after enjoying the fireworks of the Zapdos festival, this is actually the end of today's episode. So guys, let's go straight into the rating. What can I say about the story? The story, of course, was as basic as always. Well, the crew is traveling, helping out some dude. They are getting in trouble because of the angry Zapdos. And this, and this Zapdos, of course, has been angered because of Team Rocket. And in the end, they, they are able to calm Zapdos down and everything is fine in the end. And also, of course, the new evolution of Neubert into Neubert. So because of that, the story in the end wasn't really that special, there wasn't really anything unpredictable happening in today's episode. So that's why I unfortunately have to give it a 6 out of 10 because it was just so predictable. What can I say about the focus? The focus of course was not only the battle between Neuvern and Zapdos, but also in my opinion the focus really centered a lot between those two. Although I have to say that a really huge chunk of the episode really belonged to Zapdos, and because of why it got angry and and also it shows how powerful Zapdos actually is but also of course that like like Moltres already has done that that also can accept mistakes even as a legendary Pokemon and the other chunk of the episode of course belongs to Neubert and the evolution of Neuvern but in my opinion the whole thing about Neubert is I really don't know if this evolution was a little bit too fast because Neubert hasn't got any screen time at all but I think all the character development of Neubert happened in off-screen land and because of that well in the end it was a good thing that Neubert evolved into Neuvern and I really hope that it will get more screen time in the future but I still just think that using a legendary Pokemon just to evolve another Pokemon is really a thing that they shouldn't do that often and I hope that they won't for example use Articuno to evolve the next Pokemon of Ash and I really hope they won't do that so because of that 7 out of 10. What can I say about the animation? The good thing about today's episode was definitely the animation. Not only the evolution of Neubat into Neuvern, which we all know that evolutions are really well done, but I just love today's environment of today's episode because of all the really dark shadowing, all the dark clouds with the striking lightning and thunder, and all of course Zapdos as the center of that. And because of that I just really love that. And because of that I will give it a 9 out of 10. So in the end guys, this episode will score a 7.33 out of 10 with the recommendation. Well guys, I just would watch this episode because of Zapdos, because Zapdos was really animated well in this episode. And also, I just really love legendary Pokemon in an episode. But to use this legendary Pokemon for an evolution again, really was something I didn't like. But you can still watch it and it was really enjoyable. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this today's review and see you guys later. Bye!